myself yam gunakar assistant professor of zoology government degree college siddipet telangana state let us discuss today the distinguished characters of poisonous and non poisonous snakes before going into the characters of snakes let us have a look on the systematic position of snakes snakes belong to the phylum chordata subphylum vertebrata superclass nethostomata division tetrapoda class reptilia subclass diapsida order squamata suborder ophidia hence branch of zoology studying snakes is called as ophiology the reptiles are probably the most disliked animals in the world since time immemorial the snakes in particular are hated by humans because their slippery creeping and terrifying appearance moreover they dispatch other animals including humans to their heavenly abode within seconds by their bite though bite of poisonous snakes is something sometimes fatal but most of them are harmless unfortunately most of our fears about snakes are based on sheer ignorance and baseless superstitions there are some fallacies or misconceptions regarding the snakes some snakes means there is a fallacy or misconception that ichadhari snakes can transform into humans and vice versa it will image of the person killing a snake is imprinted on the retina of dead snake so that the living partner of snake can easily recognize the murderer and take revenge by performing certain rituals the snake who had previously bitten a person can be forced to appear physically and suck its own venom from the body of the victim who will recover at once and there is another fallacy that some snakes are supposed to hypnotize birds and even in america some of the americans believe that a mysterious hoop snake or whip snake who which keeps the end of its tail into mouth to become a ring or wheel that can roll after a person and stab in the back it can chase a person even on a stair these are some of the fallacies or misconceptions are the superstitions which are almost all baseless which are based on these are all none of these superstitions is based on facts now let us have a look at the differences between poisonous and non poisonous snakes first and foremost difference or distinguishing character among the poisonous and non poisonous snakes we shall look a look at the color of the skin generally in the poisonous snakes the color is brightly colored whereas the non poisonous snakes usually not so much brightly colored head in the case of poisonous snakes which is long and triangular almost most cases whereas the head is narrow and elongate in the case of non poisonous snakes neck is always constricted in the case of poisonous snakes where there is no constriction in non poisonous snakes hood is mostly present especially in the cobra snakes and in some other coral snakes but absent in some whereas in non poisonous snakes there is no hood present when we see the tail mostly the tail is cylindrical and tapering except to sea snakes where the tail is flat or oar like you can see the sea snake where the tail is here you can see the oar like this is a sea snake whereas the tail in the non poisonous snakes is tapering and long except burrowing snakes which is somewhat blunt now the head scales in poisonous snakes are usually small on top of the head whereas in non poisonous snakes head scales are large but in sand boa they are small dorsal scales are smaller in poisonous snakes whereas longer in non poisonous snakes but vertebrals that is the dorsal scales which are present on the mid dorsal line on the vertebral region are larger and hexagonal in poisonous snakes like crates whereas the vertebrals in the non poisonous case are not large in poisonous snakes ventral snakes they are complete across the belly except sea snakes 
complete means on the ventral side they extend from one end to the other end whereas in non poisonous snakes ventral scales either they are complete or incomplete across the belly then loreal shield is present in almost all the poisonous snakes where it is absent in the non poisonous snakes caudal snails are undivided in the poisonous snakes except to coral and cobra snakes whereas caudal snakes are uniform throughout and solid in the non poisonous snakes fangs are poison teeth the first maxillary teeth and the upper jaw are modified to become poison teeth which are called fangs and these fangs are present in every poisonous snake whereas fangs or the poison teeth are completely absent in non poisonous snakes all the teeth are similar in the upper jaw and lower jaw and these fangs can be folded when the snake will not bite and then poison gland is present in all the poisonous snakes snakes whereas poison gland is absent in non poisonous snakes we can have a best many examples of poisonous snakes like uh, sea snakes cobra crate pit vipers and pitless vipers coral snakes and sea snakes whereas there are many examples of po non poisonous snakes also like rat snake python sand boa wolf snake tree snakes whip snakes and pond snakes etc now coming to the how to identify poisonous snakes from non poisonous snakes the first characteristic features that we should see to identify or to differentiate the poisonous and non poisonous snakes is the tail region if the tail is laterally compressed or oar like then that snakes are poisonous snakes and uh, examples sea snakes all the sea, sea snakes they have a flat oar like tails example hydrophis and henhydrina but if the tail is cylindrical and, and tapering then they may be poisonous or non poisonous so we should further examine other structures the second structure we should see if the tail is cylindrical and tapering the next structure or the second structure is the ventral scales or the belly scales if the belly scales are small continuous and without dorsals then they are non poisonous snakes and if the ventrals are if ventrals are not fully broad to cover belly then also they are non poisonous but ventrals broad ventrals are broad that is belly scales are broad fully covering the belly that is from one margin to the other margin then they may be poisonous or non poisonous then we should examine next characteristic features the third characteristic feature that should we examine that we should examine is head scales are the scales which are present on the head as well as loreal pit as well as subcaudals subcaudals are the scales which are present on the ventral side of the tail region now let us see the head scales first if the head scales are small and head is triangular and there is no loreal pit then these are poisonous snakes head scales are small and triangular that is triangular head with the small scales on the head and there is no loreal pit then it is poisonous and though there they are pitless vipers now if the head scales are small and a loreal pit is present between nostrils and eyes then it is poisonous snake and it is a pit viper pitless vipers in india are generally vipera russelli and equis carinata there are two types of vipers are present in india russell's viper and equis carinata whereas pit vipers there are two types of pit vipers are present in india one is lachesis which is generally found in western ghats and ancestrodon which is found in ancestrodon is a pit viper which is found in north india then if the in how to differentiate the pitless vipers whether it is a russell's viper or equis carinata so to differentiate pitless vipers whether it is a russell's viper or equis carinata then examine the subcaudals these subcaudals are the scales which are present below the tail 
if the subcorders are double that is two sub two lines of the subcordal scales are present then it is russell's viper if the subcordals are arranged in a single line and that pitless viper is equis carinata and one more thing in the equis carinata to confirm ourselves it is a vekers carinata c for an arrow mark is present on the head region on the top of the head an arrow mark is present on the equis carinata and the subcordals are single then the pit is not present between the nostrils and eyes then it is definitely the equis carinata which is commonly called bursa then if the head scales are not small if the head has some shield like scales and there is no loreal pit then we should examine next characteristic feature then we should see for the vertebrals these vertebrals are the scales which are present on the mid dorsal line on the vertebral column above the vertebral column these vertebrals are enlarged if the vertebrals are enlarged and hexagonal in shape then it is poisonous and that poisonous snake must be a crate which is bungarus sometimes it is also pronounced as bungarus and to confirm a crate we should examine the infralabial that is the scale that are present on the lower lip fourth if the fourth infralabial is the largest then we should confirm that it is a crate or bungarus now if the vertebrals are not enlarged not enlarged then that is not the crate then we should examine the supralabial supralabials are the scales large shield like structures which are present on the head region that is uh, on the upper lip if the third supralabial touches the eye and nostril and that is also a poisonous snakes and that is to be confirmed as cobra which is naza naza and if the third supralabial is present and there is a neck with the hood hood is present and spectacle mark is present it is cobra but if the hood is absent only coral spots on belly are present no spectacle mark even that is also poisonous but it is a coral snakes calophis then if no such characters that is shields are absent on the head no vertebrals no subcordals then those snakes are non poisonous only now let us examine the figured identification of snakes here poisonous and non poisonous snakes how to identify here let us see if the first characteristic feature we should examine is the tail i said just now so if the tail is flat see this tail is flat it is not tapering it is flat or oer like then those snakes are poisonous and that too all of them are sea snakes they are highly poisonous highly dangerous snakes so hydrophis and hnidina are the best exa- examples for the sea snakes now if the tail is cylindrical and it is tapering at the end then we should examine the next character the character is nothing but the scales on the belly that is ventrals these ventrals if the ventral scales are uniform and small belly scales are uniform and small then that snakes are definitely non poisonous and even if the belly smells belly scales are not so small but they are flat and they are large but they are not touching the margins so this is the margins and these ventrals are not touching the margins the margins are separated by the other scales so those snakes are also non poisonous but if the ventrals are belly snakes belly snake belly scales are touching the margins here here they are touching the margins and here also they are touching the margins then that snakes may be poisonous or non poisonous we should examine the further other another character then i already told you we should see the scales on the head and the shape of the head the scales if the scales are smaller 
if the sales scales are smaller and the head is triangular then those are poisonous snakes and if there is no loreal pit between the eyes and nostrils these are the nostrils and eye and there is no loreal pit can be seen so that's why here there is no loreal pit but triangular head is present and the small cephalic scales are present so these snakes are definitely these poisonous snakes and they are pitless vipers because loreal pit is absent but if there is a loreal pit between the nos between the nostrils and uh, eyes this is the eye and this is the nostrils and there is a loreal pit uh, between the two then these and the head is triangular and the scales are not so small but somewhat bigger then these are the pit vipers which are also poisonous snakes then if <coughs> the scales on the head are not small and there is no loreal pit and even the triangular head is not present head is somewhat cylindrical then they may be non poisonous or poisonous we should examine and there are large cephalic shields also but head is head is not triangular no loreal pit uh, hence uh, then we should examine now another characteristic feature we should examine the ventrals see this here body on the dorsal side not on the dorsal scales we should examine the dorsal scales the dorsals on the dorsal side these are the vertebrals see these vertebral scales on one line are hexagonal in shape hexagonal in shape and these vertebrals this is the special characteristic feature of crate so all the crates are poisonous but to confirm whether it is a crate or not we should examine one more character that is the shields which are present on the infralabial that is lower lip on the lower lip the fourth on the lower lip so you can see this is the first low, first lower lip second infralabial third infralabial and this is the fourth infralabial among the four infralabials on either side the fourth infralabial is the largest one is the largest one so and one more thing is just now we have seen that the dorsal view that is vertebral scales on one line are in hexagonal shape and one more thing is fourth infralabial scale is the largest one then that snake is definitely crate and which is poisonous then if such vertebrals are not present and fourth infralabial is not largest then if the head is having shields and uh, the head is third supralabial shield that means on the upper lip the third supralabial shield if it is touching the eye on one side and the nostrils on the other side then this see this one see this shield this is the third supralabial and this third supralabial on other side touching the nostril and the other side touching the eyes so this if the third supralabial touching the eye and nostrils on either side then that snake should be confirmed as cobra which is poisonous and the cobras can be recorded can be identified with their hood in the neck region also so if no such characters are present if no such character that is the shields are not present though the shields are present fourth supralabial is not not fourth supral fourth infralabial is not largest and third supralabial not touching the eyes and nostrils and there are no vertebrals then all those snakes can be confirmed as non poisonous snakes only so if you find all these gen all these characters uh, that means here for the first first character that is to be tested are seen are examined is the tail and the next character is belly snake scales 
third third character is the head whether it is triangular and the scales are small or not and uh, if the head scales are not small and only shields are present big scales are present on the head and head is not triangular then we have to examine the fourth character these fourth characters are fourth character to be examined are vertebrals or infralabials or supralabials we should see to confirm whether it is a non poisonous or poisonous snake so this is the key for the identification of snakes as you know there are the snakes just now we seen they belong to the suborder ophidia of the squamata order these are limbless reptiles with a long cylindrical body covered by epidermal scales the head is covered by scales or at time by shields also the venom of the poisonous snakes is of two types now you can see here the poison apparatus the poison apparatus here the venom of the snakes just now i told you is two types number first number one type neurotoxins number two hemotoxins neurotoxins which are generally present in the cobra which paralyzes the nervous system of the victim and whereas the hemotoxin which affects the cardiovascular system which affects the endothelial walls of blood capillaries and uh, this hemotoxin is more painful than the neurotoxin snake venom is used in the treatment of some disorders it appears as pale yellow crystals an anti venom is prepared using this venom and the institute which is famous for the preparation of these anti venoms in india is at bombay the name of the institute is hafkins institute thank you